Hey guys, and welcome to another special edition of Rolling with Robert. And uh, today's letter comes from the Mississippi. I have never heard of the Mississippi. It's short for Mississippi. It comes from her name is um, Calgoni Gore Calgon Gore. And she writes, Dear Mr. Schmack. I would like to spice up my sex life by taking a bath with my husband. But he thinks a bubble bath is too feminine. How can I get him to do it? And where is he? Well, County Gournay, um, he probably thinks that it's, you know, uh, gay, you know, to take a bath. Well, that's that's yeah. But I mean really. I mean is it getting any good? That's what they do. And um so that's probably his issue. So you gotta kinda trick him into it. Okay. So let's let's go through some uh, little uh, helpful hints. That'll help you out. So just make a you know, I took some notes, yeah, because I can't remember nothing. Alright, first thing you wanna do is take a shower with him. <laughs> You do not want to be sitting in a bathtub with him, with his dirty ass, right? Have him wash his ass, take a shower with him, get him in the mood, and make sure that you wash his ass, you know, because, trust me, <laughs> I've just done one of those little scratch things, and, you know, everybody, everybody does it. But, uh, and, yeah, so let me get back on top. Uh, make sure he washes his ass. You know, take a shower with him. Start, start with the foreplay that way. Right. And uh, if you do have uh, a bath uh, and a shower separate, go ahead and have that ready in the background. Have some candles. You know, have some morning hay. You know, have, um, have things like that. Have some porn in the background. You know, that is kind of chill. Have that, you know, but. <laughs> For those of, you know, us that are some of us that have uh, the bathtub combo, there are a few ways you can go about this. Um, what you could do if there's a bath shower combo, you could, um, you know, first thing, wash his ass, and then go ahead and just kick that drain plug closed after you know his ass is washed. You know, guys, they don't care, you know, if we're sitting in bath water from the girl, right? If we're, you know, the other foot, because, you know, how many times, guys, seriously, have you said, oh, I don't drink that girl's bath water? Well, you know what? All you're doing is sitting in it, you know? But, so guys don't have to have that issue. So, you know, a girl definitely washes that. Okay. Yeah, after you get that very close, you know, and it starts to fill up, you know, our splish and splashing. And stuff, you know, uh, uh, you know, keep cleaning, you know, cleaning to you is going out the same thing. So, and then here we go. So, yeah, after the, so we go ahead and get the other some bubbles in there, hey, next thing you know, sit him down, keep playing around, cleaning, or playing whatever music, sit and talk, you know, or, um, I don't know, play checkers. I don't think you can play checkers. But I mean, have some, have some pull, you know, the little rubber ducky. You know, and if he still feels a little feminine, then you know, have a bring a hammer, right? I've got a helmet and goggles for later. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a bad time. So, hey, all right, so here we go. Um, I right, love trying to make sure that's watching I'm watching all the time. We got that. I'm playing my really good and I'm best ever now. And then while we get it, sit, relax, talk, and play. Okay, let's work on it that way. Now, there are some issues that, uh, you know, some of you might or might not know uh, when, uh, if you do foresee, uh, engage in sex while you're at the water, you know, there 
you know, they just women had these, you know, watertight seals, and like, oh, you know, and uh, if they queen, if you, if you girls know how to queen, you can equalize the pressure. You know, that way it won't be so watertight. But, uh, uh, no, it's, it's okay, you know, uh, they, they do, you know, check your local uh, sex shops for the proper invitation. You know, I, um,